Uh, welcome uh, to all of you. Uh, my name is John Williams. I'm standing in for Ian Somerville, the head of school. I'm one of the deputy heads of school in uh, media, communication, and sociology. Ian can't be here today. He's got some urgent family business to attend to. He's very sorry to be missing this event. And he passes all his best wishes on to all of you. Uh, my students will tell you that I always look like this, but actually we're still in lockdown here and haircuts, well, they're only available in the hidden market. They're very difficult to get hold of. So uh, you'll have to excuse my uh, appearance today. Our interconnected disciplines of media and sociology, we talk a lot, of course, about processes of globalization and our graduates will be able to confirm that much. They will tell you, but I think, it's fair to say that none of us anticipated that quite the way globalization would impact on all of our lives and the way it's done in the past few months. But at least we can get together using global technology. Uh, we can celebrate the achievements of our graduates wherever they find themselves today. And it is really nice to be able to do this. In more normal times, of course, we would have been meeting you with your parents or carers on Victoria Park near the university. In fact, I'm in my home study now looking at Victoria Park rather longingly and I hope we can still do that sometime in the future. That's certainly the plan. And I can certainly say that we've loved having you here with us in Leicester and we hope you found the city and the university a very welcoming place to be. In fact, uh, our students, you guys out there, you're the people who make Leicester the vibrant and safe place it is today. Uh, so we certainly miss you when you're not here. We missed you at the end of the of the academic semester, uh, especially because we didn't really have an opportunity to say farewell and good luck in the way that we would normally do. And in a way, this is what we're trying to do in this rather unusual format uh, today. But on a brighter note, I'm really happy to say the pandemic has not at all affected your overall performance. And so I need to warn you right now that you're gonna receive a lot of congratulations in the next 20 minutes or so for the way that you've achieved in these difficult circumstances. So let me get my congratulations in first. Very well done, all of you. You've overcome the barriers of the past 100 days or more, and you've done it really quite brilliantly. You fully deserve all that you've achieved. But I also want to say well done to my colleagues in MCS in Leicester, because I think they've worked really hard too to guide and support you in this tough period. None of us were really prepared for what happened. And I think the academic staff here and the administrators uh, in Leicester have worked and responded really superbly to this challenge. I'm anticipating, expecting now, imagining you're giving a collective clap at home. I hope you are. We're certainly clapping you here. Sadly though, especially for parents, I suspect, we're not able to meet today, obviously, in the splendor of De Montfort Hall, just across the way from where I am now for our usual graduation ceremony. I hope that can happen later or that maybe you have occasion to visit Leicester in the future because then you can see why we so enjoyed having your sons and daughters here with us. I think you'd really enjoy uh, the city and uh, to see the place where your children studied. So, okay, this is not the event we would usually offer at this time, but I think our graduates this year, in some ways, maybe they're even more important to us than usual because of, of what we've all been through together. Uh, certainly for me, a class of 2020, even though I've been here a very long time, the class of 2020 will not be easily forgotten because of these incredibly unusual circumstances. Of course, Attending university is a hugely formative experience, and it's not just about the academic side of what you did here. It's about making new friends. It's about trying new things. It's about being open to ideas and, of course, planning what you, uh, what you aim to do next. But we're sure there are going to be opportunities for all of you, despite the, the present constraints. And when these constraints are finally lifted, uh, we're convinced that you all can succeed. We believe in you. Uh, we've, we're certainly confident that what you've learned here and the experiences you've had with us at Leicester will stand you in good stead for the future. And for those of you who are not fortunate enough to live here or to stay in the area, 
we do hope you'll come back. We do hope you'll visit and we hope you'll stay in touch. We really prize hearing about what you're doing, about your ambitions and achievements. Don't forget us because we don't forget you. I know that many of you in, indeed will have particular staff members or administrators here that you'll remember, perhaps even for the rest of your lives. But your impact on our lives is just as keenly felt. I can guarantee you that. We do feel invested in all of your futures. So go out into the world and make your mark. This is your time. Find your way. Find happiness. And try at least to use some of what we've taught you here. I hope that's what you do. I hope also you make a difference in the world, that you fight for social justice, that you promote environmental change, which of course we all have to do, and that you join campaigns. Black lives really do matter, as we've all been reminded so powerfully recently. I think these messages come from both media and sociology. And in fact, this is a time, I think, when these disciplines are even more important than usual. So use what you've learned. I know this is quite an agenda, uh, but we all know that you can do it. You can change the world. Okay, that's it for me uh, for now. But on to these congratulations I promised. And first up is a few words from our President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Leicester. Here he comes now. Hi, I'm Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the Vice Chancellor of your university. I was really looking forward to my first summer graduation ceremony with you. But we all know why we cannot hold a face-to-face -face event this year. But I just want to tell you how proud we are of your achievements, especially during these difficult times. We as a university community want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. We want you to go out there and make a difference. I want you to make yourself, your family and this university proud. You are our citizens of change. All the best. A lovely message from the uh, from the vice chancellor. Okay, next up, we've got some messages from officers at the students' union at the University of Leicester. I suspect you've all used and been part of students' union activities during your time with us. Well, they want to say well done and wish you well too. So here's a few comments from the students' union. Hi everyone, I'm Mia. I am your student union president. And I just wanted to take this time out to say a huge congratulations. You've made it, you're graduates. Um, this year has probably been the most tumultuous year or one of the students on campus at Leicester. Um, you are the first and only students to go through a whole pandemic and graduate. Um, I know that the ceremonies have been postponed and to a lot of students that will be awful um, and a really huge opportunity that they were looking forward to having. Um, but I hope to see as many of you as possible um, next July and next January to celebrate in person. Wishing you all the best um, in your next endeavours and well done because you made it. Hi everyone, my name is Adnan, I'm the Students' Union Education Officer. Just a huge congratulations from me to all of you for graduating. I know it's in unfortunate circumstances, um, but well done even so and I hope you're all safe. Um, remember what you've learned, not only in your degree, but from each other and from the people you've met in your time here um, and utilise that to, to help change things and to help change the world. I, I have faith that everyone here has, has an ability to, to impact things and to really uh, progress the world in a more just and sustainable way. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Magaya and I'm your Liberation Officer. So I really want to congratulate you on this amazing, amazing achievement. You guys have been through so many hurdles this year, the biggest one being coronavirus, but you came out in the end and here you are flourishing on this amazing day. So today I really want you to remember your experiences, go out in the world and slay it because the world is definitely your stage. Hi guys, I'm Carly, your wellbeing officer. I want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who's graduating this year. You have overcome so much throughout your degree. Not only have you had to deal with strikes, but you've also graduated in spite of a global pandemic. Just know that you can do anything you put your mind to and overcome all obstacles in your way. I wish you all the best of luck and I know that you are all going to accomplish incredible things. 
Congratulations to our fellow 2020 graduates. We know it's not been our year, but we hope you're taking some time to celebrate your achievements. So some, uh, some lovely messages from the Students' Union there. You're the pandemic graduates. That's something you should be very proud of in a strange kind of way. I now have, uh, have the lovely duty of announcing the third year prizes for our students in both media and communication and sociology. Uh, in, my, in my head, I've got a drum roll going on here, uh, but I'm going to go straight into them. So the, uh, the, the media and communication prize uh, for the best overall performance at level three is Laura Demarkey Milanovic. So big round of applause for Laura. The second media and communication prize for the, uh, the student producing the best dissertation at level three is for, wait for it, Sophie Oldman. So I hope both of you guys are out there listening to this and connecting to us at the moment. If you are, uh, big congratulations, fantastic performances for both of you. Two prizes in sociology, two, the Ilya Neustadt Prize for the outstanding performance in fieldwork in sociology goes to James Perkins. Well done, James. Excellent piece of work. And finally, in sociology, the Anne Witts third year prize for the best student, best third year student in sociology is for Grace Lan Locken. So, Grace, terrific performance, best third year sociology student. Very, very well done. Now, more special treats. This is a morning of special treats, I can see. All sorts of people here in Leicester and from around the world have insisted they have a chance to congratulate you in person. Well, at least on screen in this very special year. You may even recognize some of them. I'm very envious. There are some people in this list that I would love to have been congratulated by, I can tell you. And following this, following this montage of, uh, of famous faces and people from around the world, a couple of uh, my colleagues in, uh, in MCS, they will introduce a montage of messages from some of our staff. At the moment, quite a lot of people are away and we didn't want to include too many staff members in this because this might go on for quite a long time. So we've just produced a small selection of, uh, of messages from our staff to you. Uh, but first, we're going we're gonna to listen to this, this montage of, uh, of congratulations from people from around the world and from here in Leicester. Hi there, I'm Martin Cullen, Chair of the University's Alumni Association, and I just wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on your graduation and welcome you to our 200,000 strong alumni community. Really well done, and we look forward to welcoming you to an alumni event as soon as we can. Hi everyone, my name is Will Tudor, I'm an actor. I graduated from Leicester in 2008. I just want to say a massive congratulations for graduating today in what is an incredibly turbulent, uh, uncertain time. You've done absolutely brilliantly, so congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself, so well done. Go and celebrate, have an amazing time, and all the best for the future. Well done, everyone. Hello, my name is Johnson Long, leader of Hong Kong alumni community. It's been a very tough year in 2020, but you guys made it. Congratulations to all the graduates. For those who want to come to Hong Kong, I'm here and welcome you. Hello, I'm Aaron Porter, a graduate in 2006 and the first Leicester alum to be president of NUS. Today will be one you never forget. Looking back on an experience, I hope you can cherish with fondness. Whether it's the friendships that will last a lifetime, the new experiences and the horizons that have been opened for you, and for some, moving away from home for the first time. Leicester is now an indelible part of your life as you move on to the next chapter. Best of luck. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jonathan Tai, President of Leicester Alumni Ghana. Congratulations on the occasion of your graduation, and we really can't wait to welcome you to the alumni body. Just like we say in Ghana, Akwaaba. Congratulations one more time. Hi, this is Eswantswa Goldsmith here. Wow, congratulations, you made it. 
And one good thing about graduating in lockdown is you don't have to wear a mortarboard. Trust me, those hats are a nightmare, especially if you've got an afro. Plus, you are the very first students in history with 2020 vision. At last, we can go out there and make this crazy old world a much better place. I'm going to be beside you all the way. Aluta continua. This is Jamal Anderson from the Leicester Riders. I just want to wish you the very best for the future. Um, congratulations for graduating in these difficult times. It's amazing that you've done so. And, and I wish you all the best. Take care. Hi, it's uh, Brendan Rogers here from Leicester City. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish uh, all the graduates at Leicester University big congratulations. Uh, enjoy your graduation day and obviously uh, safely have a great celebration this evening and uh, I'm well done. Hi, uh, just a quick hello from me, Julian Matthews, uh, your media program director, and from the whole media team on this really special day. How time flies, eh? It feels like yesterday when we, when I and the team were saying hello to you as interested, eager, and slightly nervous uh, first year students. Over the last three years, we've enjoyed spending time with you, watching you learn and watching you grow. We also have enjoyed being taught a few things by you along the way. So today, we are extremely proud to see you as the latest graduates of the media programme. Best of luck with whatever comes next, and please stay in touch with us. Hi, hi everyone. So just a short message from me. Um, Grace, your Sociology Programme Director. First of all, ah, well done! You just earned yourselves a degree. Um, you are sociologists. Um, Really, really happy um, to share this really exciting moment with you all. I'm so, so proud of you all. I know that you've worked really, really hard, um, particularly in those kind of final, mo final moments to get your degree. Um, so just to say, from all the staff, um, we have really love getting to know you all. You've been a joy to work with and to be around. It's been a real pleasure to kind of see how you support each other, you challenge each other, um, and just how passionate you are about your subject and issues that really matter. Um, so, yeah. Sociology isn't just what you do, it's now who you are. Um, you are a sociologist, so continue to be that change that you want to see in the world. Wishing you a really, really happy future. Good luck with all your new adventures. Um, and yeah, stay in touch. We really love hearing from you.
some uh, some nice words. I hope you enjoyed them from uh, from members of the uh, of the school here. Uh, we also recently have had the results of the National Student Survey. So thank you for being involved in that. And it's clear that you like us as much as we like you. So, uh, so thanks from us. And we hope you go on and do wonderful things. We're confident that you, that you will get out into the world. When it fully reopens, you're very lucky because we're still locked down here in Leicester. But you citizens of change, as the, as the Vice Chancellor rightly called you, do your best, do good, and make a difference. Uh, I'm going to sign off with this leadership insight from who else but Martin Luther King. Always go to Martin Luther King if you want a nice sign off, and that's what I've done here. He said, make your education valuable, apply what you've learned, refuse to take the back seat, and watch things happen. Join the change and be part of the change. Good luck to all of you from Leicester. Do come back. Do get in touch with us. Let us know what you're doing. And of course, for all of my students who know me well, ask me for references because I'll be happy to provide them. Bye to everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.